Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to show you the IQ feed um, API. I'm not going to show you the source code, but I just want to show you some of the capabilities of it. Um, what you'll find is <clears throat> when you get access to the API, download the uh, uh, IQ feed, um, uh, IQ feed uh, package for the IP API. Um, there's various example uh, uh, languages that you can work from Java, Visual Basic, uh, C Sharp, and Visual C++. I'm going to show you the, okay, in Java there's not very much to work from. Um, just a simple lookup in a streamer. Um, but it is a little more sophisticated with the C Sharp and the uh, Visual C++. So I'm going to show you the C, C Sharp, but it looks like they're kind of the same between Visual C++ and the C Sharp. Now the, 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 the key here is um, for my MATLAB for simulations to get access into the IQ feed I'll probably have to go through the C Sharp uh, examples and for my production code I'll probably most likely for just speed uh, go through the C++ code. So let me show you the uh, C++ um, applications. I'm going to show you the symbol lookup, the history, and level 1. Uh, I don't have access to level 2, so I can't show you that. Um, but it looks like you have always a choice between the socket and the com. So uh, it looks like uh, there's corresponding one of the each of these for both C sharp and C++ I don't really care about VB I mean we know it's slow so let me just show you some of the stuff um, always make make sure that you activate your your IQ feed client um, and what you can do is you can set a watch list now remember this is just the capabilities of the API um, these are just simple form applications so if I type in Apple um, has to, everything has to be uh, capitals I believe um, you do a watch and there you go so let's say in your source code you have a uh, an infinite loop and you're just consistently watching for all your tick data um, that's what I'm assuming will work how it will work um, and then from there uh, that's for your level one data now it's the same thing no different if I have uh, let's say Apple again get the data. So what it'll do is it will grab all the latest uh, data uh, tick info for um, let's say Apple. Uh, that's what it looks like it may be doing. I could be wrong here. Uh, and this is all tick data. You have different uh, data points. So uh, I'm assuming for end of day um, but it looks like it's uh, today's date, which is the 20th of December, and this is all tick data. So, um, judging from the price, let me just verify the price of Apple here. Uh, just give me a second here. Um, uh, okay, so let me just do a Yahoo Finance on Apple just to see if it's accurate or not. 521, let me just see if that makes sense. So here's the 520. Uh, that's a symbol lookup. I think this is end of day here. This is in the symbol lookup. Um, I don't think that's tick data though. Uh, let me just see uh, Apple again. December twenty. This this might be end of day. I'm just trying to verify um, how it how it works. I'm all new to this. Um, the documentation is just I don't know. Um, there's not a lot to it. Uh, it's very scant. Um, so it does appear to work, um, but uh, probably um, for history, this is probably the best application um, 
for for just getting your tick data. Um, that's what I'm going to see them. Um, and uh, leave it at that, I guess. But uh, these are some of the some of the apps they can play with. <coughs> I would probably say that this is the most useful. Um, and again, um, there's a level two. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's probably the most uh, useful for tick data and just watching tick data. Now the next question is um, with with uh, this because this can be a calm application and again uh, as I said you do have uh, socket versions as well uh, so in my case I'm looking up the history so I have a history com and then a history socket so um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a large assumption that uh, with MATLAB uh, I can make a DLL out of this and then um, basically connect into the assembly uh, within from within MATLAB and be able to get access to it. That's what I'm hoping at least. Um, well, well, we'll 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 see what happens. I'm gonna try to uh, figure this out because um, originally I was wanting to go through an Excel spreadsheet, but uh, why bother when uh, might be better just to do it right from the uh, source file. But as I said, um, I probably um, be better off for MATLAB to go through the C sharp because it's pure .NET versus the v Visual Studio plus uh, C++. Um, but that would be left for the production code. Um, so let's see what happens uh, in subsequent videos. Uh, I'm hoping that's somewhat helpful for you.